Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number eight. So I'm happy that you are ready to start the class. So hello, Carito, good evening. Hello, teacher, how are you? <clears throat> really good, but I would like to rest more. I need some sleep time, but I'm okay. What about you? you? Really good, I think. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> How do you say con muchísimo calor? Um, with, I can, more than warm. I don't know if it is the weather or the menopause. Yeah. Or it can be both. Okay. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> Um, you can say, okay, heat is color. So a little heat, let me see. Menopause, you are Thank you. A lot of heat tonight. Para ahí voy yo también, Carito, no hay preocupe. Really? Come on, <laughs> you look, you look really young. Se ven tan jóvenes ustedes. Llenos de vida. Yes. I guess, I guess you have like a, you have like a key or a secret to stay young para permanecer jóvenes. Okay, yeah, maybe, cool. Maybe you can share your secrets. Pueden compartir el secreto. How to who stay you, young. Who are you talking about? All of you. Come on. Jose, recuerdas en inglés. Ah, <laughs> Joanna, come on. Tangana. Ok, Joana, hay que. Ay, Joanita. Dígame de, de cuál, yo ando buscando también. Oh, call me oh. later, call me mejor later. Mejor que no le diga, mejor que no le diga. Oh, sí, por okay. mensaje, por favor. De 25 en adelante, hermana. Ok. Este, ya tengo más de 25, pero gracias. I want I to guess. say that eh, the collagen works. Really? It's a tip. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it works. So you can say it, uh, you have evidence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess that's too much information for my innocent ears. Okay. Mom, so, okay. but thank you for the tip. Thank you for the tip. I guess maybe someday I will take my advantage. pleasure. <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot. Maybe someday I can I can have that opportunity. Okay, maybe someday. Okay, so um, a ver, chicas del colágeno. We go here with how to use, have to, or need to. Okay, so this is the class number eight. And um, se utiliza como usar el tienes que, you have to, o necesitas. Ok. Tú necesitas hacer esto. Tienes que hacerlo. So that's quite different. Ok. Uh, so when you use have, it's like more important. And when you use need, it's because, yes, it is important, but not so urgent. No es tan urgente. Ok. So, well. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? Just mention one. One thing that you always do during from Monday to Saturday or from Monday to Friday. Okay, so let's listen to okay, Carito and then Elisa. Something that you do, one activity that you do at the work. Uh, every day I have to check. A, I don't know how do you say registros. Registers or Registers. incomes or incomes. <laughs> Okay. okay, I have to check reg to check regist it. Okay. Reg Perfect. Regist registers. 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 Perfect. Elisa and then Joa. Um, order size. Oh, okay. Uh, merchandise. Merchandising. Uh, merchandising. Okay, thank you. Merchandising. That's no, that's not. That's good. Joa and then Kenya. Send email every day. Okay, every single day you have to do it. Okay. A los que tienen mm -hmm. más de 25. Thank you, Joa. Kenya <laughs> and then Carlos. Okay, Kenya. 
Sí, teacher. Ajá. Eh, sería como ready, fin, finish it, product. Ok, ok, that's nice. Carlos, Wilfredo. Como terminación de producto. Eh. Ah, ok, you can say it like this. Okay. Your date es la fecha de vencimiento, fecha de finalización. Si, si gustan, pueden escribir due date, due date. For example, you buy a product. It is important always to check the due date because if you go to the supermarket, for example, you can have, you can see some offers, but most of those offers, they, their due date are closed. Okay, to finish, están cerca de terminar esa fecha de vencimiento, okay? So that's why supermarkets or some other, uh, what? Commercials have uh, offers, okay, thank you. Wilfredo and then Gabriel. Truck uh, driver. Ah, uh, you drive, truck, yes. okay? Something that you do, always. Gabriel and Edwin. Um, no, 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 estoy, no estoy listo ahorita. Ok, no ready. Ok, Edwin y Carlita. Edwin. Eh, to walk. Sorry. To walk. Walk, caminar. Uh -huh. Ok, yes. Carla. And then we go with Luis. Um, share customer. Share. Chat or share. Share customer. Como cobrar al cliente, cobrarle al cliente. Ah, ask for payments or payment process. Payment ah, process. Payment mm -hmm. process. Okay. okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Luis, and then we go with Oscar. Uh, <clears throat> counting every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Accounting. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Oscar and then Jackie. I checklist list or packing list. Oh, okay, thank you. Jackie, uh, Jackie, one question. ¿Estás conectada con dos dispositivos? No. Solo con uno. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Jackie, and then Stephanie. Uh -huh. Jackie, what's I, I recollection of production peer or of okay. the line. Okay, thank you. Stephanie and Adonai. Steffi. Okay, no problem. Adonai, and then we go with um, Rosita. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Check my, my, my email. Review okay. stuff absence to say by the boys. Thank you. Nice. A Rosita and then Raquel. Rosie, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Yes. Um, I call the clients every day. Ah, you talk to clients. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. And what if Raquel? Are you ready, Raquel? Yes, I'm ready. Please go ahead. Okay, I'm um, right the report every day. Okay, sure. Write reports every day, okay. Yes. So that's tiring, that's just cancel. But I know that you are powerful, that's poderosa. Okay, thank you. Question, where should government uh, spend more money on, okay? So, ¿dónde deberían de gastar más el dinero o dónde debería de ir más el dinero? Okay. So, here we have, we're going to listen to some examples, some opinions that you have about this. Okay. And do we have volunteers to start with this? Okay. I guess Carlos wants to share. Okay, Carlos. Uh, And then Elisa. Okay. Uh, well, so, well, so, government. Spend more money one. I 
I'm happy in the people I know to share benefits. Uh, for example, I'm happy to make education and having books for the development of children and youth people. Okay, that's really good because uh, governments can help more, more, more people, right? That they really need, as you, you mentioned, like for medicine or, or education, and that's sure. We need that in our country, okay? Thank you, Carlos. Okay, Elisa, and then we can listen to Luis. Okay, Elisa, please. Where should governments spend more money on? First, first in education, second in health, care and security okay yes for sure claro que sí. security we need to solve a lot of problems not only uh, about gangs but also with crime okay uh, thieves ladrones okay and um, rape men okay el tema de violación. a lot of things right we need that's really clear okay thank you Elisa. very nice uh, carlos and then we go with um joanna Okay, Luis, your turn. Are you hey, ready? Teacher. Or... Sí, teacher. Okay, um, First, uh, invest in education. Second, te technology infrastructure. Okay. Uh, third, third, open a school of technology research where we can compete with the great country of the third world. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm, I agree with this. Research, más investigación. And that's related to science, uh, to science relacionada a ciencia or any type of research. Okay, uh, it is always positive for any country. Good, Chris. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, Joa, and after Joa, we're going to listen to Carito. Okay, the government, perdón, the government should invest better in education for the children. Job for young people and recently graduated professional. For the youth. I'm sorry. La juventud. Youth is juventud. Algo que ustedes tienen. Okay. Jobs for the youth. And that's important. Uh, that's really basic. And uh, if you think about it, imagine there are a lot of. Uh, Young, uh, young boys and girls, they finish high school and then they don't have no opportunities or good opportunities to have experience as with the first job. So uh, if you notice uh, a lot of enterprises, they, they ask for experience. Las empresas piden experiencia, but how, do, how can we have experience if we don't have the opportunity to have the first job? So, yeah, it is a... Uh, very, very necessary. Okay, Carito, and then we'll listen to Oscar. Okay, Carito. Okay, teacher. Absolutely sure it should be in education. First, education improves people's standards of living. Second, education improves the level of well being of society. Third, if you invest in education and at an early age, schooling is encouraged, crime is reduced, children's skills are improved and they lead to better levels of income in their life future professionals. Finally, investment, investment in education not only reduces poverty where it is made, but also generates a future society that it's more prepared and more educated yeah that's it that's the key more educated it is not just by knowledge no solo en conocimiento but for principles or to be polite don't throw garbage through the streets okay yes that something is very basic. important thing yep really important because uh, you can have a lot of degrees degrees significa titulos okay titulos universitarios yeah. you can have a lot of degrees but it is important to be very well educated, okay? To be integral, ser integral, okay? So that's something important. And if a, a person or some students have a lot of education or they are educated, 
maybe they can have a scholarship outside the country. Pueden tener, ¿qué? Eh, becas. Eh, they can go to another country, okay? So that that's possible, of course. But uh, yes, we need uh, to invest. Well, the government should invest more because, uh, well, uh, it, it is investing, but we need more. Okay. Thank you, Carito. Oscar, and then we go with Edwin. Okay. Um, the government should spend money on creating projects to bring electricity, drinking water, building more school and creating more job opportunities in the canton towns villas where there the plus no one takes importance yes oscar that's interesting something that uh, calls uh, my attention is drinking water and if you notice um we don't have like uh, a very good processor of trash tenemos un buen procesamiento de basura okay and that is something that is affecting affecting seriously our country okay and so thank you for, for mentioning that oscar very important good edwin your turn and then we go with um kenya okay uh, <clears throat> firstly in education as it is one of the main bases society is secondly in health as as it is a deficient point nowadays the seriously in security uh, to realize uh, Delinquency, delinquency, no sé qué delinquency, 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 crime, delinquency. Oh, crime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Algo que para, para, para pues, uh, agregar a esto, Edwin, yo sé que a veces queremos decir palabras específicamente las que tenemos en nuestro cerebro en ese momento, pero tratemos de buscar palabras que se parecen un tanto en español e inglés como crime, ¿verdad? Ya me ha pasado lo que en el momento te, te pasó, ¿verdad? Que tienes la idea. Pero la palabra uh -huh. se te va. Okay. So we can advocate, no tenemos que abogar, digamos, a esas palabras prácticas. Crime, está fácil, crimen, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero se nos va porque queremos okay. delincuencia. Ok. Eh, entonces, okay. ¿de eso se trata? Uh -huh. well, well done, bien hecho. Ok, thank you. Kenya, please. And we're going to finish uh, with Gabriel. Please, Kenya. Ok, teacher. They should invest in school to get a good teaching and um, education for children, no, children. And mm -hmm. um, the poor people who need housing put um, funds to be uh, able to support themselves. Okay, very interesting word. House, people who need house, housing and housing. vivienda. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Yes, no, pero está bien, la gente que necesitan casas, necesitan hogares, of course. And mm -hmm. remember, there are some homeless, okay? Uh, homeless, is, home es hogar, less es como que no tienen hogar, ¿verdad? Uh, entonces, las personas que, que, que no tienen hogar, okay? Um, there are a lot of kids, homeless kids, that they live on streets, they sleep on streets, okay? And there are some, a lot of things that the government can do, but of course, education is a priority. Thank you. And we go now with Gabriel. Okay, teacher. Yes. Uh, should investing improve education? Uh, you should investing just is in erasing criminal criminal criminal. Areas, criminal areas, criminal, crimi, criminal areas, criminal areas, not eliminate, eliminating people, but rather in credit, three yo, yo opportunities, we com, company salaries. Oh, company yes. Salary. 
Uh, a, a very important word, salaries, uh, competitive salaries. Yeah. And if yes. you notice the base salary that we have in El Salvador, it is not enough to cover all the basic necessities that we have. Uh, remember the bills of electricity, lo recibo de electricidad, uh, and different uh, bills that you have, for las cuentas que a veces nosotros tenemos. So, um, like $365, mm, like it is not enough to have like a well quality of life. We need, that's why people are entrepreneur. La gente es como más emprendedora because they try to sell some other things because they need some incomes or extra incomes, ingresos extra, okay? They need extra incomes, okay? So that's why they, they try to, yeah, to sell some other things, okay? For example, in, in the marketplace or, or, or in some other places, okay? some other spaces thank you very much okay my friends uh, as if you notice uh, you have uh, given a lot of good vocabulary and you have to do it well with fluency okay that's nice si comparo ahora con el segundo día que empezamos con el speaking activity noto ya una cierta diferencia and I like that me gusta eso okay eso es como super genial el tip, el tip que nos dio de grabarnos a mí me funcionó bastante no, claro, claro que sí. Entonces, eh, cuando ustedes, como les he dicho, ¿verdad? Ah, a Joana también le, le comenté eso y, y, y a varios les he dicho, pues, en general, que grabarse antes, ¿verdad? Antes de la clase, sí, sí pueden. O sea, yo sé que llegan cansados, tienen que comer, ¿verdad? Tienen que, que, que atender a la, a, la, a la familia, compartir tiempo con la familia, ¿verdad? A la pareja, ¿verdad? Hay que darle también cariñito. La cuestión es que hay que preparar un poco antes del speaking activity. Si ustedes se graban, ¿verdad? Y después se escuchan, eh, a nadie le gusta su voz. A nadie, a nadie. Yo no he encontrado ahorita una persona que me diga, a mí me gusta mi voz. Siempre dice, suena raro, eh, escu me escucho así como que estoy con la, hablando con la nariz, eh, ¿verdad? Pero se trata de ir modulando la voz y a medida como uno se va grabando, se va como que, pues, entendiendo un poco más y, como dice yo, pues, ayuda bastante. Hasta le va a salir la voz sexy para los audios de WhatsApp. Ok. Do you mind? Do you mind es, ¿te importaría? ¿Te molesta? Um, ¿Te molestaría abrir la ventana? ¿Te molestaría, eh, ¿Te molestaría no fumar? There are a lot of phrases that we use with do you mind? Ok. So here we have this. Elisa, could you help me, please? Really? Can you read, please? We use... We use do you mean to say politely a person to do to do or not to do something in specific. In specific. Thank you. Okay. Thank to you. do something or not to do something in specific. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, pedirle amablemente, politely, porque polite, solo polite significa amable, pero politely, amablemente, uh, que haga o no haga algo, ¿verdad? So here we have, uh, for example, help me, Luis. Do you mind? Okay. It's a question. Mm -hmm. uh, do you mind closing the door? Yeah, perfect accent. ¿Te molestaría cerrar la, la, la puerta? Hay muchos antiguos. Okay, and so here we have uh, Oscar. Do you mind? Este se dice aloud. Okay. Uh, number four. Oh, la do que you mind speaking aloud? Aloud, yes. ¿Te, te, te importaría? ¿Te importaría hablar más fuerte? There are some people that they speak like ants. Hay unos que hablan como si fueran hormiguitas, se han dado cuenta, right? So, do you mind speaking la aloud? ¿Te molestaría hablar? ¿O te importaría hablar más fuerte? En otras palabras, habla fuerte. ¿Ok? Do you mind closing the door? ¿Te molestaría cerrar la puerta? En pocas palabras, cerrar la puerta. But we can say like that, ¿ok? Because that should be like a, a, an order and not a comma. Yes, Carito. I have a question. Why the the word is using like closing and speaking and now to close? Como te importaría cerrar to close? No sería do you mind to close. Okay. I'm going to uh, I'm going to explain this. Por reglas, eh, digamos reglas eh, de la vida en general. En inglés no podemos tener dos verbos unidos. Por ejemplo. I like to 
than sales. Okay, in this case, and uh, here we have this, um, I like to dance salsa. No, lo más común es hacer esto. I like dancing salsa. No podemos tener dos verbos unidos. Okay. Um, another. I love, I love to watch the uh, horror movies. I love to watch horror movies. ¿Cómo la podríamos cambiar, Carita? En lugar de I love to. I love watching. Yeah. Oh, viví engañada toda la vida. Lo siento, amiga, date cuenta. Yes, that's it. So, I love watching movies. Eh, no podemos tener dos verbos. Por eso, siempre tenemos un, la palabra to en medio de los verbos. You have to work. Esta, you have, aquí se dice you have to work porque es como, como una obligación. No puedes decir you have working. No, you have to. Porque con el have siempre se debe poner, se debe de, de agregar el to. Igual que el need, como el tema de, 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 de la clase. Ok. So you have to work. Ok. okay. You, um, you need. You need. You need to. Be. Tienes que ser fiel. Ok. So whatever. It doesn't matter the, 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 the example. The point in here that you don't have, oiga, you don't have to, to join two verbs without to or ing. O sea que, en simples palabras, siempre un verbo para, deben de estar separado con el to o se le agrega ing. Ok. O sea, puede usar las dos, las dos opciones. Es que yo eh, siempre utilizo, no sé si se ha dado cuenta, I like to, y el otro verbo, siempre el tú en medio de los dos verbos, como, eh, yo como creo... que fueran el infinitivo, ¿se llama? Infinitive, uh -huh. sí, mm, vaya, en este caso, um, hay verbos en los que siempre se deben utilizar el ing, por ejemplo, love, uh, enjoy, hate, like. Esta es un, esta es parte, de, si usted anótenos. Siempre después de estos vamos, y si quieren agregar un verbo, debe de ser ING. I love, I love cooking. Okay. Algo que ustedes odian. I hate, hay gente que no le gusta leer, odio. I hate reading, odio leer. Entonces, con estos verbos, love, enjoy, hate y like, es ley que siempre debe de ir ING. Se okay. puede utilizar okay. to, okay. pero se escucha como un poquito extraño, pero aceptable. Siempre la gente te lo dice. Okay. En cambio, con los otros verbos siempre va a haber la, el to. O el ING. Puede variar. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, my friends. Importante. Love, enjoy, hate, like. Ok. We continue. Ahora, uh, volviendo al tema este, mm, tenemos el uh, do you mind. Entonces, como mind es, significa mente, pero también significa importar. ¿Verdad? Cuando dicen, ah, I don't mind, no me importa. Es como decir, eh, estas son di diferentes maneras de, de, de decir no me importa. I don't mind. O I don't pero I don't care significa como me vale. <laughs> But you can use it, ¿ok? I don't care. O oh, la otra, it. Le recomiendo que anoten esa, 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 esas frases. Porque se utilizan. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't mind. ¿Ok? Anyway, anyway es como sea. Y la otra es never mind. Sin importancia. Never mind, de hecho, es un álbum de Nirvana. Muy bueno. Ok. So, I don't, I don't mind. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Eso me gusta bastante. It doesn't matter. Uh, anyway. Salud, carito. Yo sé lo que necesitas. 
Gracias. Never mind. You're welcome. Por cierto, para decir solo se dice acciones. Ok, so that's it. Ok, and here we have, y aquí es lo, lo que iba a explicar, ¿verdad? Uh, do you mind plus verb in ing? Eso ya está así, ya está de fábrica. Y si me dicen, teacher, pero si le pongo, do you mind to close the door? Mm, yes, but no. Se lo pueden hacer, pero no es lo, lo que es como muy común en el inglés americano. Mind significa, es igual que bother. Bother significa molestar. No es brother, aunque los brothers normalmente molestan. Bother, bother es molestar. Ok. A otro verbo que también lleva ING a la par es stop. Stop watching me. Deja de mirarme. Stop speaking. Deja de hablar. Ok. Después del stop siempre va un verbo con ING. Ok. So that's it. Uh, do you mind? Uh, let's continue. Creo que copiaron esto. Ok. So we go with the rest. Ok. Um, let me see si can press those. Ok. I'm going to, antes que nada, I'm going to check the attendance list. Because creo que nos emocionamos un poquito. Andrés, hello there. No, Andrés. Uh, Carlos. Perfect. Thank you, Carito. I'm here, teacher. Good. Edwin. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Lisa. Present, teacher. Elisa, I'm sorry, your second name is Vila. Vila is like that. O Vilja. Eh, en español, en Spanish, Vila. Eh, pronunciación judía, Vilja. Ah, verdad. O sea, ¿por qué me, me, me daba la opción de que Vilja? Very interesting name. Interesante. Like it. Sí. Thank you. <laughs> Steffi, hello. Nice. No, Freddy. Gabriel. Present teacher. Perfect. Jackie. Okay, Jackie. Hey, Present. Patty. Thank you, Jackie. Patty, creo que se comentó por un momento. So, Joa. Present. Dos, Carlita. Present. Nice, Kenia. Present. Okay, Luis. Present. Okay, nice. Mardoqueo. Oh. Oscar. Presente. Nice. Raquel. Rachel. Present. Okay, ¿Qué estás haciendo? Te escuchas así como extraño. Ok. Sans Sugar. <laughs> Raquelita. Ok. Pensada, I don't know. <laughs> Rosera. Rosera, are you there? Present teacher. Thank you. Walter. Walter White. Ah, ya puse la cámara para que digan. Ah. No, no dudamos de ti, Rachel. Raquelita, no dudamos de ti. Ok, Walter, no. William. No, William. Marvin. Present, Present teacher. Ok, and Marvin Wilfred. Present teacher. Ok. Ya, yeah, ok. No sé por qué se me hace que si trabajara con ustedes en la misma empresa para un poquito de relajo. Por ustedes, no por mí. Ok, do you mind? Yes, yes. Ok, we have some other examples. Um, ah, bien. En este caso, aquí ya tenemos do you mind y tenemos el verbo en ing. Ok, closing the door, do you mind speaking aloud. Tenemos otro ejemplo por do you mind open the window, do you mind Opening, I'm sorry, do you mind opening the window? Do you mind um, closing the window? And there are a lot of examples. Do you mind speaking aloud? And a lot of things, okay. Pero tenemos otro tipo de do you mind. Tenemos el do you mind y con el if. If significa sí, pero it is not a, a, an answer. No es una respuesta como el yes. Yes es sí de afirmativo, pero el if es condicional. Un ejemplo, que es una condición. Cuando hay dos oraciones, una subordinada y una coordinada. 
la oración es, por ejemplo, yo trabajo horas extra si me las pagan rápido. O si me gano la lotería, si me gano la lotería, yo compro 10 motos. O yo compraría 10 motos si me gano la, la lotería. Entonces, es el if, es un sí condicional. Ahora, do you mind if I close the window? ¿Te molesta si yo cierro la ventana? Ok, so that's it. Now let's listen to um, Carito and then William. Ok, Carito. A question. Can you read it, please? Second. Do you mind if I smoke here? Okay. Smoke. Yes. Smoke here. Smoke. Thank okay. you. William, number three, and then Carlita, number four. Do you mind if I sit here? Perfect. Good. And this. Mm -hmm. Carlita, leave. Do you mind if I leave? Earlier. Mm -hmm. Earlier. ¿Cómo? Earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Earlier. Como dice, earlier. Earlier. Esta viene la palabra early, que es temprano. Que okay. early ah. es temprano, pero earlier es más temprano. Ok. okay. Uh, thank you. Entonces, do you mind if I smoke here? ¿Te molesta si yo fumo aquí? Uh, la mayoría de personas la va, la mayoría de personas va a decir uh, yes. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, I have one question. Please. Tell me. Para lo que está explicando ahorita, el, el verbo se mantiene. Yes. Nuestro... Se mantiene no. porque tenemos esto de por medio. El if. Eso, Entonces, lo, eso, lo eso rompe, que... eso rompe la, la, la regla que les había dicho anteriormente. Si va un ah. verbo directamente, lleva ING. ¿Sí? Ah, en cambio, aquí, sí. ya como lleva el if, ya cambia porque también le ponemos un sujeto que es I. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. Do you mind if I sit here? ¿Te molesta si me siento aquí? Imagínense, van en el transporte público y encuentran el amor de su vida. Do you mind if I sit here? Or the number four. Do you mind if I leave earlier? Esto díganle mañana a su jefe. ¿Te molesta si me voy más temprano? Okay. Yeah, why not? So in this a case... Joana, but... dígale que le diga así al jefe. Yo creo que lo haría. A Joanita, la veo. Le tengo miedo. Really? Okay. Do you mind if I... ¿Verdad? Entonces, do you mind if, ¿verdad? ¿Te molesta? Sí. Sí. Entonces va, va a la condición. Eh, de hecho, hay una serie animada de Marvel que es What If, que si se traduce a ¿Qué pasaría si? ¿Qué pasaría si el Capitán América no fuera él? ¿Qué pasaría si Iron Man? No sé qué. Entonces, son condicionales. Como, ¿Qué pasaría si? Entonces, en este caso es if. Sí. Ok, we continue. Ahora. Cuando le preguntan a alguien, ¿te molesta si yo fumo? ¿Te molesta si yo fumo aquí? Y ustedes dicen, no, no, no problem. No, no me molesta. Entonces la persona puede fumar. Pero si le dicen, do you mind if I, I smoke here? Yeah, please. Sí, por favor. O sea, le está diciendo que no fume porque si te molesta. So that's why. So uh, let's continue with some other examples about do you mind. And we go with this. Mm. Tenemos las respuestas, ¿ok? Eh, no and don't mind, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver, le voy a preguntar a Carlita. ¿Te recuerdas qué significa I don't mind, Carlita? La dije ese error. No? Ok, I'm going to ask to Kenya. Kenya. No, no me molesta. Yes, no me molesta. O... Oh, mm -hmm. Sí, como que no molesta, no me importa. Uh -huh. Please. Pero si decimos, ok, no, go ahead. No. Adelante, go ahead es como adelante. No, y eso, adelante. Yes. Okay. Sí, pero adelante se, se puede expresar como que si ustedes le van dando la indicación, ok, please, go ahead. Yes. O si alguien eh, sí, va, va a fumar, por ejemplo, ah, go ahead, adelante, no problem. Ok. Hey, dale. <risa> dale con todo, dale con todo. Okay. <risa> Yes, that's y que, it. Y que así yeah. nos dice el, el jefe, que siempre que le vamos a decir algo, dice, ok, dale. Ok, dale, ok, dale. Ok, ok, good. Iba a decir algo, pero... Do you mind? Ok, we continue here. Do you mind? Ok, uh, I need your pronunciation, please. I will need here... Um, William? 
please. Okay. Do you mind if I open the window? Thank you, Carlos. Okay, I need you, your pronunciation. I'm sorry, I feel full. So please don't. Don't. Ah, así es. Se molesta si, si abro la ventana. I'm sorry, I feel cold. So please don't. ¿Verdad? Lo siento, tengo frío, así que no. O simplemente ustedes le pueden decir no. De un solo salud, no. But if you want to express that it is not because of the, any reason, okay, that's uh, being polite, that you said I'm out, right? Okay, uh, now what about it? We listen to um, Joa, question. And the answer, Wilfred. Después vamos con Wilfred, okay? Do you mind if to turn off the TV? Do you mind if I turn the TV? Okay, uh, Wilfredo, please. I'm sorry. I'm studying. Right now. Right now. Lo siento, estoy estudiando ahora mismo por la clase de inglés. No me molesten. Okay, right now, ahora mismo. Right now, ahorita, actual. Okay, so let's see. Teacher. Yes. Voy a poner la ventanita anterior, please. La ventana. Okay. Uh, this one, do you mind the answers or the yeah. previous? No, yes. Es, sí. Okay. Hey, se va a tomar captura, Vicente. Sí. Va a salir todo extraño. Siempre tomo captura, teacher. Yo todo también, todo. teacher, haga carita. Nice. Mm, okay, después salen caras extrañas. Muy extrañas. Okay, so do you mind? No se preocupe que yo la por las caritas. Corta, la recuerdo. Póngame un emoji. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, here we have this. How to use commands, something that we studied yesterday. Uh, commands to order or tell someone to do something. Para ordenar que alguien haga algo. It is like, well, it is supposed that the bosses, los, jef, los jefes, no los buses, los jefes, the bosses should be polite. Deberían de ser amables. But they don't, they are not always like that. So, but if we were bosses, if nosotros fuéramos jefes, diríamos estos, okay? Uh, Luis, select one, please, and whatever you want. And then Carlita. Uh, please write a check. Okay, perfect. Un cheque. Un millón. Please okay, Carlita, yo. Sorry, again, please. Please send a memo. Thank you, Joa, Carito. Please check, the, please check the report. Perfect, report. Good, Carito, Elisa. Uh, please supervise the employees. Yes, the employees, nice. Elisa. The employees. Please go to a meeting. To a meeting, okay, good. Easy, Thank you. Now we're going to work with this, okay? Brainstorm, cuando decimos brainstorm, se, se refiere a lluvia de ideas, no lluvia de cerebro, brain, okay. Brainstorm, six things your classmates, boss, classmates, boss needs him or her to do tomorrow, okay. Vamos a hacer una lluvia de ideas con seis cosas que el jefe de tu compañero, de tu compañera necesita para que lo haga. Okay, so here we have uh, this. Uh, Gabriel, can you help me please reading uh, this? Merci. Merci. Vos van her to. Aha, wants her to. Mm -hmm. El, yes. thank you, thank you. El jefe de Merci, miren, aquí llevan posesivos. Voy a explicar esto eh, rápido. Estos se llaman los posesivos, pero no me refiero a personas tóxicas, sino que a los nombres solo le agregamos es, por ejemplo, Carlas Salón, digamos que el salón de belleza, Carlos, sería Carlas Salón, el salón de Carlos. Tenemos... Tenemos Victoria's Secret, el secreto de Victoria. Yeah. Yes. And, y aquí tenemos Mouse. Para quienes han visto The Simpsons, Moe, el bar de Moe, donde va Homero, ok, a tomar fresco. Entonces tenemos Moe's, entonces significa la taberna de Moe, pero no dice taberna, simplemente de Moe. 
Así es, en Estados Unidos hay muchos restaurantes que es así, ¿ve? Joe's. Es como que ya no es necesario poner es bar, restaurante, solo Joe's. Ya se sabe que le pertenece a Joe, le pertenece a Moe's. Así que si diríamos, por ejemplo, el jefe de Carla sería Carla's Boss, Caritos Boss, ¿ok? Joas o Joanas Boss. Uh -huh. Estamos diciendo el jefe de Carla, el jefe de Carito, y así sucesivamente. So, um, Mercy, eh, Mercy's boss wants her to, el jefe de Mercy quiere que ella, y aquí eh, podemos escribir también, Kevin's boss wants him to, se refiere a que el jefe de Kevin quiere que, uh -huh. y solo vamos a escribir two, two activities que quiere. One, two. Due date, ya había dicho que significa, ¿verdad, Elisa? Due date. You remember due date. Due date. Manchada. Manchada. No recuerdo. Hay que inflarte, hay que inflarte. Ok. Rachel, Raquelita. Sí. Rachel. Eh, fecha de vencimiento. Yes. Fecha de vencimiento. Y tenemos deadline, que es fecha límite. Prácticamente es casi lo mismo. Solo que la fecha due date a veces se refiere a algunos productos. Ok. Y deadline principalmente es algunas fechas para presentar algo, pero ambas, ambas pueden aplicarse. Both of them can be applied for reports, for send emails, for presenting at, at work, para hacer ciertas actividades, ¿ok? Call clients, ¿cuál es la última fecha para llamar clientes? Whatever, ¿ok? So I need you to write two activities from your classmates, dos actividades de, de, de su compañero que pueden hacer esta semana en where When is the due date or when is the deadline? Cuando es la fecha límite para hacerlo. Okay, so that's it. No problem with this activity. That is really easy. Okay, so what do you think your classmates boss wants him or her to do tomorrow? Cosas que van a hacer durante la semana o puede ser la otra, pero necesito una fecha límite. Dos actividades por compañía. Okay, for example, Luis and Gabriel, they are together. Luis anota la de Gabriel and Okay, so just give me a second. Mientras tanto, piensen qué actividades le van a decir a su compañero para que sea más fluida y más rápida la actividad.
Ok, Oscar, necesito que aceptes la solicitud. Me sentía más sola que, no sé, perdida. Ok, nice. Bueno, ya están aquí juntos. Nice, perfect. Thank you. Ok, en la otra. Uh, send report 53 on Monday 28. Send uh, report. No sé si es mi internet, pero no le escucho bien, se escucha cortado. Send report. Uh -huh. 53. Uh -huh. On Monday, 28. Okay. Of, of operators, a uh, deadline is uh, May 2022. I have to finish the training of operators and uh, deadline is May 2022. Hello, teacher. Hello there. How are you going? Good? good Almost good. finished. We finished. Oh, really? That's yeah. really good. Perfect. Si ustedes son bien eficientes ahí, no, yo la contrataría, la estudiara como mis CEO. We are, trabajamos super bien los dos. We are the best team. Yo creo que ustedes serían como su good supervisors. Really good. We are. Yes. No, I can imagine. I can imagine. I don't know, but I can imagine. They're really good. But you do you work together? Yes. We are oh, friends. We are. Uh, Yo no lo voy a poner juntas. Ah, mm. uh, uh, we, we we work together very very good. Yeah, I know. I know. Aparte de show acts. No, a mí me gusta variar de vez en cuando sí lo. 
Sí, sí. Sí, pero no, teacher. Ok, las veo later. Ok, bye. Sí. Ok, we're going to start with you. Vamos a comenzar contigo. Ok, Jackie, are you ready or Joa? Who? Yo tengo una pregunta de yep. Oscar. Oscar, no, o sea, lo que, él, lo que le pregunté. <laughs> ok. Sí, esto es algo extraño. Eso. <laughs> sí. okay. Oscar Boss wants in to. Have an sport down line. Eso me contestó él. Solo hicimos uno. Ok, Oscar. ¿Podrías aclararle ahí? Uh, my question era es my boss Gabriel wanted a daily Wanted a daily. Quieren algo diariamente. Ajá, daily. Pero ¿qué, ¿Qué quiere? ¿Qué quiere? No como fecha de un límite, una este, fecha de límite de entrega. Deadline. Mm -hmm. Deadline. Deadline, sí, exacto. Deadline, sí, yeah. Ok. Pero la actividad la tienes clara, yo. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. La clara. Bien, entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Digamos que comienza Elisa. Who is your classmate? Quien su compañero, Lisa? Uh, Edwin. Okay. Edwin's boss wants him to. Ahora, si fuera al revés, si Edwin habla, va a hablar sobre Lisa, sería Elisa's boss wants her to. Okay. Entonces, ahora quiero explicarles un momento esto. Cuando utilizamos este, si alguien le dice así, I want you to, I want you to buy, buy a cookie. Si en su casa los mandan a comprar y le dicen, I want you to buy a cookie, les están diciendo, quiero que compres una galleta. No les están diciendo, eh, te quiero o, 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 ¿Ah? o algo así. Ahora, I like you to uh, send the report. Aquí no les están diciendo, me gustas, ¿verdad? Me gustaría o me gustaría que tú envíes el report. ¿Sí? Aquí no le está diciendo te quiero, compre una galleta. Quiero que compres una galleta. Acá eh, me gustaría que envíes el reporte. Ahora, sería con Elisa. Ajá, sería eh, Elisa, sería Edwin's boss. Sería Elisa. 
sería el this one want in to check the wrong material before to to a date wow that was really good was okay to check the wrong material mm -hmm. thank you Elisa. very nice uh, we go now with edwin okay edwin your turn okay uh, elisa's boss wants here to cash the check do a march mm -hmm. perfect okay we go now with kenya and then luis kenya ready mm -hmm. okay um, you need time carolina's boss wants me to carry of the internal audit before march 31. okay carolina's carolina's boss ah, carolina's okay. boss okay thank you very nice luis and then um, carlina okay teacher william boss wants his to attend extra meeting mm -hmm. good Perfect. ¿Y cuál sería la deadline o la due date? ¿Cuándo sería la fecha? ¿Usted dijo la fecha? On. No me dijo fecha, pero. Bien, en ese caso, cuando sea así, ah, what, eh, sería Williams, Boss, bla, 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 quieren. On. Podría ser March. Y dice la fecha. Ok. But well said. Bien dicho. Bien, vamos con. ¿A quién le dije? A Carlita. A mm -hmm. Carlita, yo. Ajá. No entendí muy bien, pero lo voy a intentar. Me vamos, corrijo. Vamos. Ok, sería Carlos with play soccer Saturday. Uh -uh. No. Vaya. En este caso estamos hablando bien. Dijiste bien la actividad, pero son actividades que el jefe quiere que él haga. Yo creo que Carlos no te captó uh -huh. la idea. Ok. Ajá, son cosas que los jefes quieren que ustedes hagan. Pero la, la, la oración estuvo bien, Karina. Okay. ok. Thank you. Ok, we go now with Joa and then we go with Gabriel. Joa. Um, Wilfredo, my boss. No, Wilfredo's boss. Wilfredo's, Wilfredo's boss. boss. Van here to trading Friday a.m. On Friday. Okay, Don't thank you. Me. Okay, Wilfredo, and then we go with Oscar. Fredo, are you ready? Oscar's boss needs the report this afternoon. Okay, wants him to present the report. Okay, thank you, Oscar, and then we go with um, Carito. Hey. Joanna Boss wants him to submit report for the months before today. Thank you, thank you. Solo que sería wants her. Por eso puse aquí el, el ejemplo de Elisa. Wants her. Y para hombre, wants him. Okay? Sería wants her. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Carito and William. Okay, teacher. I don't know if I understand. But uh, Kenya's boss wants her to calibrate the thermometer. On, ¿para qué fecha? Do you have the date? Uh, deadline is March 31. On March 31st. Mm -hmm. 31st. 31st. Thank you. It's on March 21st, okay. Perfect. William, and then we go with Jackie. Okay. Um... Luis's boss want him to present file taxes. Okay. On March 31st. Perfect, William. Well said. Thank you. Uh, Jackie, are you ready? And then we go with Raquel. Okay. Raquel's boss uh, have to deliver the quarry expense report. Okay, wants uh, her to deliver. Thank you. Okay, um, March. March, what? March 25. 25th. Thank you. Uh, nice, perfect. Lo que pasa es que para la fecha se utilizan los números ordinales. ¿Verdad? No sé uh, si ya les explicaron eso en el módulo pasado. 
Yes, ajá, sería números ordinales. Los cardinales son 25, ordinales son 25. Thank you, very nice, Jackie. Eh, Raquel, and then we go with um, Adonai. Um, Jackie's boss wants her to send report of the best line the month and the due day is April 1st. April 1st, good, thank you. Okay, Adonai, are you ready? Lisa must want her to type in the bug word before Friday. Friday, good, thank you. Okay, Carlos, your turn. Okay, Carlos, ready? Ready. Mm, please. Uh, Carla, Carla, both one, three, two, two, win, need win, I call it working. Okay. Nice. Now let's continue with where should government spend more money on? And for this, I will need um, William's participation. William and then Adonai, please. Are you ready, William? I don't ready, teacher. Ah, oh, you're not ready. Okay. Now Adonai. let's listen to yeah. uh, Adonai. Adonai, please. Where should government? In education, in advance, in medicine, in important projects for youth. Also, they pass training starting from childhood. Uh, childhood, yes. Okay, childhood. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so. It is important if you notice sometimes we have some projects, but they are not focused on children from before, before kindergarten, right? So just in, in, in teenagers, but that's true. Thank you, Adonai. Okay, what if we we'll listen now to Jackie? And then Raquel. Okay. Um, what I, uh, to be begin with the schools with the lowest resource. Okay, good. Only in the helping family with limited resource and finally in fixing the street of the colonies in neighborhoods and cantons that need it most. Okay, thank you, nice. Lowest resources, buena palabra. Lowest es como más bajo, más bajo recursos. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Yes, that's it. Uh, Raquel? Um, I believe in Virgin in a good level of education from basic to higher education and make it available to everyone without limitation for people with limited resources. Okay. Available, that is something that we don't have now. Uh, in matters of education, access to information, okay, access to different kind of tools, mm -hmm. and that's for sure. And that uh, would be for for public institutions, public schools, okay. Because if you notice, private schools are kind of um, advanced. They are kind well. They are better most of the times, but there are a lot of people with uh, lowest resources that they should be, they should have like those kind of uh, projects available. Thank you, Raquel. Um, what if we listen to Carla, Carlita, and after hey, that, uh, Wilfredo. Okay. Providing help of support to people young are all the streets. Okay. Yes, of course, the, the homeless, they, they need help. And there are a lot of people waiting for some opportunities. Thank you, Carlita. Wilfredo and Steffi. Okay, Wilfredo.
Are you ready, Wilfredo? Ah, uh, o ya pasaste. No, ¿verdad? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, me dice William. Ready. Okay, William, go ahead. Ya puedo el micrófono. Okay, William and then Wilfredo. Come on, William. Okay. Um, I believe that they should invest more money in education, culture, and art. Also in support of small entrepreneurs. Okay. Entrepreneurs. Nice. Apoyar los emprendedores. Of course. A good yeah. option. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Wilfredo and Steffi. Hey. Here's in education and health and infrastructure of hospital and school. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Education, hospitals, okay, that's perfect. Thank you, Wilfredo. And Steffi. In remo remodeling public school. Okay, yes. There are a lot of public school in bad conditions. Okay, so they need some help. Thank you. Okay, now that we have this, uh, we have read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Vamos a ver si hay eh, oraciones que son que están incorrectas. Pues las vamos a. We're going to correct them. Okay, so uh, de cada Bueno, yo voy a ir diciendo y voy a poner aquí una línea acá divisora hasta donde tienen que llegar. Okay, we start with Carlita. Please, Carlita. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. Thank you. Okay, we continue with um, William. I'm a human. I'm a human. Resource manager. Continue. Resources. Yes. Resources Source. manager. Every day I check emails for the company. Thank you, Elisa. I. I always answer the phone and tell to potential employer. Thank you, Luis. Ah, uh, as I said, yeah. Thank you. Generally, generally, I at a meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Thank you. Okay, we go with Kenya. Okay. In my company, we always have events. 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 We have to attend a conference. ¿Cómo es esta palabra, teacher? Conference, conference. conference. Esta uh, E, esta E es silent, conference. Ah, conference on... July 21st. July 21. 21st. Ah, 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference. On July 20, 22. 22nd. Ah, 22nd. I am always busy. 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 Oh, busy. busy. Okay, busy. Okay, thank you. Okay, do we have any wrong sentences? Vemos oraciones incorrectas. Mm -hmm. Check it. Teacher, and I work in an office. No tendría que ir el in y el an. I work in an office. I work at an office. I work at school at office. Puede ser de un solo at office. Okay. Yes. In an office. Eh, se escucha raro, ¿verdad? In an office. Sí. Okay. Good. Any other? Mm -hmm. I guess no, right? Okay. We're going to continue. 
porque tengo otras actividades para ustedes. Okay. His name, uh, we're going to uh, check. Vamos a ver si están bien estas oraciones y si no las cambiamos. Okay. Um, Elisa, select one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, number two. Uh -huh. Can you read it, please? She write report every day. Bien, every vamos day. A, every day, yes. Vamos a utilizar dos, dos, dos palabras. True o vamos a utilizar false. True, false, true, false. Ok, dependiendo si es verdadero o falso. Ok, he writes reports every day. Vamos a ver acá primero. True, true. Ajá. I check the mail. Answer. True. True. ¿Dónde dice eso? Tenemos la parte. Uh, yo era, era, la pregunta era, disculpe. Eh, he writes reports he writes report every day. Eh, ¿Cómo era falso? False. 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 Okay, lo, thank you. Lo, Carito, you go and then we go with Adonai. Okay, teacher, let me think. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. He never attends meetings. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Let me think. Mm. I have to respond true or false. And if it is false, we have to say the correct. It's false because it's not so often. It's not so often, but no, never. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's false. It's false. Mm -hmm. So he attends meetings. Uh, well, he, well, not so often. Attends meetings sometimes. Yeah. For, uh, sometimes. Okay. You can say sometimes as well. Perfect, Carito. Walter. Okay, Walter, and then we go with William. Hello. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, the last name is Earl. Está malo. Okay. John? Wilson. Okay, no, Wilkins. Wilson. Thank you. Okay, William, and then we go with Luis. He has to go to a conference. On July 22nd. Uh -huh. True or false? Um, mm, 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 mm. The meeting about the conference on July. Uh, true? That's true. Thank you. Very nice. Luis, and then we go with Carlos. And numbers. Six. Number six. He usually has events in this company. Mm -hmm. He usually has events in his company. Uh -huh. um, fal false. It is false. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Look. Yes. No es, no es uh -huh, usually, ¿verdad? Es? Always. 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 That's it. Thank you. Always. Ok, mm -hmm. good. Carlos and Raquel. Ok, Carlos. I often, I think many in the morning. Ok, he often attends meetings in the morning. That's true or false? ¿Verdadero o falso? False. No, it's true. Ah, no, 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 Te lo acabo de subrayar, mira. Ok, um, Raquel, number three. Um, no, I have a question about the seven. Uh -huh. uh, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Mm -hmm. But in the part of 
said the attend a meeting about the conference, not attend the conference. Yes, attend. Well, he has to go to a conference and he has to, well, attend a meeting, meeting on the yes. 22nd. Yes, that uh, is that's false. false. That is that meeting, it's about planning. When, yes, um, yes, that's true. Okay, thank you. Very well noticed. Can you say number three, please? Um, let me see. Never. Um, he never answered the phone and talked to custom customers. Customers. And mm -hmm. Answered the phone and talked to employees. Um, that is false. Mm -hmm. Talk to potential employees. Yes, uh, that's false because yes. potential employees no cost, uh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. that's, yes. That's, that's, thank you. That's false. Perfect. And now let's see here we have a worksheet. Tenemos esto. Para. Esto ya creo que se los había explicado brevemente. Para expresar deseos se utiliza I wish y el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, I wish I had three dogs. Quisiera o desearía tener, desearía tener tres perros. Pero no vamos a utilizar el have. Vamos a utilizar el, pas el pasado de have, que es had. Y luego acá tenemos I wish I were an actor. Para decir desearía ser, no vamos a escribir was. Vamos a escribir were. Así está establecido. Así se pide, digamos, el deseo. Imagínense, les aparece un genio. ¿Qué deseo te diría? Okay. I wish I had or I wish I were. So. In this, um, let's see. Um, here we have some, let's see. Porque ya aparecen con. Hmm. Ya aparecen con las respuestas y no va a ser. Se le me ha aburrido que solo le llaman. Ok. Just a minute. Okay. Let's see. We're going to start here with Carito. Okay, Carito. Yeah. I wish. Ajá. Uh -huh. Explico nuevamente. Si quisiéramos algo, desearía tener eh, en pasado. Yo le voy a ayudar con los verbos en pasado, ¿ok? O en el caso de ser o estar en algún lugar, where I wish I would. ¿Ok? Ok. Bueno, vamos a poner esto como ejemplo. Bueno, sí. Okay, Carita, tell me. Let me think, let me think, let me think. And then we go with, see, then we go with William. Okay. I don't have a car. I wish I had a car. Yes. Es así? Yes, that's true. Okay. No tengo un carro. Desearía tener un carro. Okay. okay. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, we go with William and then we go with Elisa. <laughs> I don't have new shoes. Hmm? I wish I had a new shoes. I wish I had uh, new shoes. New shoes, yeah. Thank you, very nice. We go with Elisa and then we go with Kenya. I can't play the piano. Mm -hmm. I wish play the piano. Casi, casi. I wish I could play the piano. Yes, esta palabra could es como el pasado de can. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, can okay. en pasado sería could. Mm -hmm. I wish I could play the piano. 
Porque el otro también podría ser así. I wish. Desearía tocar el piano. Algo así habías dicho tú, ¿verdad? I wish I played. Okay. Pero también se puede. Desearía tocar el piano. Okay? Or I wish I could. Thank you, eh, Elisa. Eh, Kenya, and then we go with um, Luis. I'm ill. Uh, I'm ill. I'm ill. Estoy enfermo. Mm -hmm. I wish. Mm, had. Sorry. I wish had. Mm -mm. I wish I. I Está con el verbo to be. I wish I were. I, I wish I were ill. Uh, were not ill. Desearía no estar enfermo. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Luis, and then we go with uh, Carlita. Uh, number, number three, I am at work. I am at work. Mm -hmm. I wish I had at work. Casi. Aquí como estamos con el am, con verb to be, vamos a utilizar I wish I were. Vaya. Estoy I en el were. trabajo. ¿Dónde te gustaría okay. estar? Sí, sí, estoy en el trabajo y no quisiera estar en el trabajo. A lot of places. Sí. Ah, ya te escuché, Karen. Te leí los labios. Yes. At work. <risas> bien, bien, bien. Es que ahí dice, estoy en el trabajo. I'm at work. El deseo sería, deseo estar en cualquier lugar. Ok. Wish work. At the beach. At the beach. Perfect. Good. Okay. Carlita, and then we go with Gabriel. Ok. La eight. Eight. I don't have time to read lots of book. I wish I, wish I had the time. The time read lots of books. Perfect, Carlita. Very nice. Okay, we go with Gabriel and then we go with Adonai. Okay, Gabriel. Uh, nine. Nine. I can't uh, drive. Hmm? I, I wish to let to drive. I wish I sería uh, cool. Cool. Let to drive. I could cool drive. drive. I sería poder. I wish I could drive. drive. Thank you. Very I nice. Okay, we go now with Adonai and then we go with Oscar. I wish. What number? Uh, number 10. Okay. I wish I had it broken. I wish I had uh, my laptop. Okay. Is it in my computer again? Oh, I wish my laptop. Weren't broken. Thank you. Okay, now let's listen to Oscar. Oscar. Four or seven? I, four. Okay. I wish. Como estamos hablando, dice es invierno. Es invierno. I wish. Uh, it is summer. Yes, uh -huh. it were summer. It muy bien, muy bien, Oscar. It were summer. Desearía que fuera eh, que verano. Good, very verano. nice. Verano. Perfect. Okay, eh, ¿quién me queda? Carito, yes. I'm sorry, teacher. It doesn't matter what is the personal pronoun. We have Siempre to use where. where. Okay, thank you. Bien curioso, ¿verdad? Siempre es where. Eh, esa es la estructura, ya. Ya está dada bien rara. Yo también durante mucho tiempo no creía, pero así es. Ok. Good. Uh, ¿Quién me queda? Ok, Walter. Number seven. I can afford to go on holiday. No, no puedo pagar irme de viajes. No me alcanza. Uh -huh. So, I wish. I wish. Uh... 
I I wear a holiday. A four, a four, a four. Mm -hmm. to go on holiday. Thank you. Okay. okay, perfect, my friends. Very well done. Now let's continue. Because do you think childhood is the happiest time of your life? Piensas o crees que la niñez es el, el, la mejor época o la, la época más feliz de tu vida? Why? Why not? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no? Do we have volunteers for this question? ¿Tenemos voluntarios para estas preguntas? Ok. Elisa, la veo animada. Ok, Elisa. And then Rachel. Ok, Elisa. Ok. Showtime. Do you think children is the happiest time of your life? Yeah. Yes, I think so. My family, uh, why? My family was complex and it was a state with no more responsibilities than, than studying and having fun and helping at home with the chores. Yeah, no worries. No things to do, just helping at home with the chores. Okay, and that's an interesting word. Chores no significan los pantalones cortos, ¿verdad? Porque los pantalones cortos se llaman shorts, pero nosotros decimos shorts. Mamá no me ha visto mi short, mi short, no, shorts, ¿ok? Pero cuando decimos chores, se refiere a uh, work, uh, well, work at home. Pero no trabajo de oficina, sino que eh, ironing, que haceres, que haceres, que haceres en mi casa. Todos los oficios de la casa. Eso significa chores. Ok. So, thank you, Elisa. Yes, very good point. Eh, Raquel. And then, who else? ¿A quién más? Vamos a escuchar. Thank you. Very interesting answer. Raquel. Hi. ¿Qué haces? Ok. Do you think childhood is the happiness time of your life? Yes, definitely okay. yes. Why? Because I have the best memories with my dad, my cousin, and my friends. I remember that we played every afternoon. And in my childhood, I accept my best birthday and Christmases with a lot of company. And I was very happy. And when I grew up, everything changed. My dad left, my friends, they moved and I moved. And nothing was ever the same. The same, yes. Things changes, unfortunately. But I'm glad that you have good memories, Raquel. Right yes now. that's perfect and that's something that you never never forget Nunca olvidas esas cosas, right? never never okay perfect okay thank you and now what if we'll listen to joa joa and then wilfredo okay joa okay do you think childhood is the happiest time of your life no because for me, it was a hard stage in my life. Okay. And I don't want my children to go through the same thing as me. Okay. Go through. Okay. Very important uh, word. Um, después va, ¿quién le había dicho? A Wilfred. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, just one thing. Sometimes we have difficult times at childhood and childhood is not the same for everyone. Sometimes we have good times, some other we have really bad times that uh, affect in the, in the adult adolescence, in the adult time, okay? And it affects decisions or the perspective that you have of life. And we have like different not problems, but conflicts that we have to solve. Tenemos conflictos que tenemos que, re, que resolver. And sometimes people don't help us. A veces la gente no ayuda. Okay. Yeah. But good, something that you said, uh, I don't want my kids go through. 
go through es como atravesar, que pasen por eso. Okay? So, really nice words, John. I like it. Wilfredo, and then we go with Walter. Uh, why and children chill how every, every, everything, everything is a game. There are no responsibilities. Oh, good. Everything is a game. You don't have responsibilities, similar to what Elisa said, right? It yes. is good because you have like a very, well, most of the kids, not everyone, la mayoría de niños, no todos, but sometimes you don't face, no atraviesa, you don't face responsibilities like that, okay? So that's really good. Thank you, Walter. And after Walter, we go with um, Luis. Okay. Um... For me, is just because the only concert is sometimes seeing insignificance. Okay, yes, a lot of things mm -hmm. or problems you look like insignificant, and that's better to learn a lot of things. Thank you, Walter. Okay, we go now with Luis, and then we go with William. Okay, teacher, my answer is yes, because there are moments that are marked in our lives. It is flyer, it is love, it is a muris with those who grow up and that is something special. Okay, very nice. Yes, something special and like a lot of love, love, verdad? Eh, que es eh, carcajadas, but smile is sonrisa. Smile is sonreír. Pero la fe carcajada de ese cuando les han contado un chiste blanco. Ok, yes, good. Thank you. Uh, William, William, and after William, we have Steffi. Ok, teacher. Uh, the happiest time of my life was when I was a child. He could do whatever, whatever. The want without any worries and without limitation. And the best of all were Christmas with the family. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Christmas with family, uh, birthdays, as uh, Raquel said, celebrations, parties. Yeah, everything is good. It's so good when you are a kid. That's family, yeah. Yeah, you never forget. Best. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, uh, something that William said, whatever, lo que sea, wherever is donde sea, whoever is quien sea. Um, I remember that sometimes people are asking the uh, what, for example, what to eat. A veces las personas están preguntando, ¿qué comemos? Y yo he escuchado que muchos dicen wherever. Y wherever significa donde sea. Tiene que ser whatever. Whatever es lo que sea. Pero sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué comemos? ¿Qué pedimos para comer? Ah, wherever, dice. He escuchado a la gente adoptado esa palabra, wherever, pero de verdad es whatever, lo que sea. In, in this case, teacher, I mentioned that the, the word is whatever. ¿Ya? No, pero lo, lo dijiste bien. Así como tú lo mencionaste, estuvo perfecto. Ajá. Okay. Yo so, yes. solo, solo hago, solo hago el, el, el énfasis. Ajá, en okay, eso. Okay. Uh -huh. Si sí, no, lo dijiste bien. Entonces, wherever, donde sea, y whoever es quien sea. ¿Ok? ¿Quién va a ir a comprar? Mm, whoever sea. sea. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, William. And uh, Steffi. And then Carla. Yes, because at that stage we are innocent. We do not know the magnitude of the problem. Okay. So you are not innocent, Stephanie. Ya no eres inocente, entonces. Uh, menos. Okay, <laughs> less. Menos que aquel okay. Yes, that's a good answer. Es una buena respuesta. Ya te malieron. Thank you. Very nice. Yes, we are kind of innocent. We don't know the cruel reality. No sabemos cuál realidad. Lo que nos espera. Pobres criaturitas. Ok. Um, Carlita. 
Ah, Carlita, está llorando. Tranquila, Carlita. No, tranquila. No, no, me hizo reír. No. Ah, ok. Ok. Um, yes, my sugar. Creo que así se dice. I'm sorry. My children. Oh, my childhood. 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 Child como niño. Hood como Robin Hood. Childhood. Childhood. Yes, childhood. Ok. Has. Has happiest time in my life because hadn't uh, any time of concert and only uh, remember that I was playing will my dolls uh, sleep eating or watch TV. Okay, so yes. Yeah. That are like the common, those are like the common activities, okay? Uh, watching TV, especially on vacations, okay? So remember, and uh, getting up later, ¿verdad? Eso nos despierta tarde, yeah, a lot of different good things. Thank you, Carlita. So um, here we have a conversation. Solo nos quedan 17 minutos, 17 minutes. So uh, you remember yesterday we started uh, a conversation about can. Now we're going to study another conversation about can, but uh, in the, that is going to be just conversation two, okay? So here we have, hello, can I take your order? Yes, can I get the chicken sandwich? Bien, cuando vamos a un restaurante, cuando we go a a restaurant, podemos eh, decir así, can I get or can I have the chicken sandwich? Que se refiere a, uh, ¿Puedo ordenar tal cosa? So, certainly, certainly, certainly. And can I get you something to drink? Yes. Can I get a diet soda, please? Diet, diet soda, please. Sure. Anything else con E, no con A. Anything else, algo más? Can I interest you something on the side? Yes. Can I get some fries with that? Fries, papa frita que a todos nos gustan y engordan. Fries, fries, fries. Of course. Aquí necesito que pongamos atención. No se dice off. Porque cuando decimos off, se refiere a esta palabra. Off. Aquí vamos a pronunciarlo of. Como of me. Ok. Of. Of course, of course. Así se pronuncia cuando solo hay una e, O y una F. O, O. ¿Verdad? Recuerden eso. Of course. Anything else? No. That will do. No. Eso será todo. Ok. So that's it. Eh, Hola, ¿puedo tomar tu orden? Sí. ¿Puedo pedir un, un sándwich eh, de pollo? Sí, claro. O ciertamente puedes. Y puedo traerte algo de... Eh, de, de beber, sí, por favor, una, I get a diet soda, please. una soda de dieta, o sea que esta persona, esta mujer no quiere engordar, ok, eh, claro, seguro, algo más, eh, le pregunta, ¿te interesa o puedo, puedo traerte algo, eh, algo más? Yes, unas papas fritas, bueno, papas fritas y una soda de dieta, como que no mucho, ok, no, quizás está raro. Of course, por supuesto. Anything else? Uh, algo más? No. Eso solamente. Okay. Certainly. Diet. Sure. Anything. Fries. Fries. También se puede decir French fries, que es papas a la francesa. Fries no significa papas, significa frito. Pero si se dice French fries o solo fries. Of course, of course. Okay, please, I need you to uh, have uh, like uh, this. Uh, can you help me, Carito, please? Ya lo mandé, teacher. Sí, mi cara, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you in a moment, my dear friends. Eh, 14 minutos para terminar, solo nos tardamos cuatro en eso, seguimos con las preguntas, and we finish. Okay, so see you in a moment.
Eh, ok, ¿quién está? ¿Quién ha, ha comenzado aquí con la conversación? A comenzar yo. A comenzar yo. Bien, Luis, te voy a mandar a. Aquí está, solo. Ok, please. <risa> Sorry. Es que esta gente no se Bye. conecta. Ah, no, ah, pues no. Es que no se conectan al mismo tiempo, no sé qué esperan. Sorry. Ah, pues no, túrnense aquí. Vaya, Joanita. No, okay. Joanita, soy, bendita, soy bendita, bendita entre los machos. Alegrate. Hey, teacher, y el colágeno, los miro jóvenes. Dale. <risa> bye, bye. <risa> Get a so, please. Sure. Anything else? Can I interest you in something on this side? Yes. Can I get some fries with that? Of course. Anything else? No. That will do. Hello. Okay. Hello. Can I take your order? Yes. Can I get the chicken? Ok, my dear friends. Ya estuvo yo. Qué rápido. Ok. Fue genial. I can see that. Ok, Joa, can you help me with. A ver, elegí a alguien, Joa. William. Uh, eh, so, es que en medio practicamos, usted no dejó mucho tiempo. Uh, ok, I gave you time. <laughs> tiempo. No problem. Ok. No, tranqui, tranqui. No, pero está bien. O sea, con William. Okay. Please. Hello. Okay. Seria okay. William, maybe. Hello. Did you hear? Okay. Hmm? Hello. Can I take your order? Yes. Can I get the chicken sandwich? Certainly. Certainly. And you Certainly. And can I get you something to drink? Yes. Can I get a diet soda, please? Sure. Anything else? Can I interest you yes. in something on the side? Yes. Of course. Anything else? Ah, no, yo me equivoqué. Yes. Yes. Can I get yes, some can. Yes, can I get some fried white That's tat? Of course. Of course. Anything else? No, that we do. Okay, thank you. We're about to finish. No quedan siete minutos. And Carito, can you help us with the question? Do you think childhood is the happiest time of your life? Why? Why not? Please. Okay. Thank you, Joanna and William. Teacher, let me... Okay, my answer is yes, of course. I was really happy without worries. I grew up in a farm 
surrounded by nature, animals. I drank fresh milk directly from the cow with sweet panela, yummy, yummy. I rode a horse. In short, a wonderful life. Such a answer. Oh, wow. So <coughs> you had really, really good time. Okay. Yeah. Grow up es crecer. Mm -hmm. uh, grow up es el pasado de crecer. Crecí. Grow up, grow up. So you have a, a you, ha, you grew up in the countryside, Carito, with horse. Yes. Mode. Interesting. Very nice. I, uh, on vacation or a lot of part You of visited, you visited some yes. your family. I pass a lot of time in, in the farm. Wow, interesting. So you had a lot of uh, good memories. Yes. Interesting. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Okay, Adonai, and then we go with Oscar. Please, Adonai. Okay. In my case, it was you not know, the best time. Okay. I spent a lot of time alone. My parents worked a lot. Oh, wow. On the other hand, the adults stay in for me the best. Oh, ah, yeah. perfect. So very well answered, and I not childhood, but the adolescence it was like better, pretty nice, good. On the contrary, on the other hand, buen vocabulario, and I thank you. Okay, uh, Oscar, and then we go with uh, Jackie. Okay. Uh, yes, I um, no. Well, I was a uh, hospital for for seven years studying and um, is. Serving me util today. Okay. You had like hard times. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Jackie, and then we go with Gabriel. Okay. And my point of view, yes, because of these stage children only think about being happy and they don't worry about my major problem. Problems uh, at this stage is where there is more innocence. Yes, thank you, Jackie. Very well. And now let's listen to Gabriel and then Kenya. Is it is the best attack? AJ Everything is just nothing worth you. Okay, well, it definitely is a good stage. Thank you. Kenya and then Carlos. Okay, teacher. Yes, because the responsibilities are less and there is more time to have fun. For example, playing with my family, my family or friends. Oh yes, so you spend time with a lot of friends. Unfortunately, the childhood friends are not near to you when you're adults, right? So that's kind of hard and you remember that. You remember some uh, friends, very good friends from childhood. And people have different types of, of, of life process in the future. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carlos. And we finish with Edwin. Okay, Carlos? Okay, yes. Because it is green, one dining. I sign off knowing, learning, and food. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Edwin, and we finished. Okay, for me, it is one of the happiest time of my life, time when you didn't worry about things like money, when you had to get off early to go to work, you didn't think about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You don't think about tomorrow, that's it. Okay, thank you, very nice. I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. Uh, today, today is the turn or tonight is the turn of Jackie. So Jackie, you stay uh, for the 10 minute session and I'm going just to check the attendance list. Say, good, uh, say hello. Goodbye or good night if you are there. Okay, Andres, I guess Andres is still right. I don't know what happened with him. Uh, Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Good night. 
Good night, uh, Carito. I'm here, teacher. There, Edwin. Hello, teacher. See, oh. uh, See you. Good night. Good night, Elisa. Present, teacher. Good oh. night. Good night. Oh. Steffi. Present. Perfect. Gabriel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jackie. Okay, Joa. Present. Thank you. Rita. Okay, um, Kenya. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Luis. Present, teacher. Luis Oscar. Present, teacher. Good night. Raquel. Okay, Walter. Hello, hello. William. Um, Marvin. Okay. Marvin. I'm here, teacher. Good. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Night. Night. Okay. Let's go. Solo comentarles que las respuestas de ahora estuvieron mucho mejor que las de ayer. Recuerden, respuestas cortas, concretas, ¿verdad? Concisas y ya practicadas con eh, que con anterioridad, ¿verdad? Eso les va a ayudar bastante a que se desenvuelvan más y generen más confianza en su pronunciación voluntaria, igualmente con su fluidez, ¿ok? So, see you tomorrow, Rito. Lo vemos mañana. Se nos cuida. Sí. Bye, people. Bye. 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 Okay, Jackie, are you there, Safari? Aquí estoy. Vaya, Jackie, este, necesitas que repasemos algún tema que a, a ti se te dificulte o um, quieres practicar pronunciación o quieres um, que hagamos una pequeña entrevista básica en inglés. Sí. Uh, tengo la señal corta. <risa> Lo último no lo entendí. Eh, bien, como te decía, podemos repasar algún tema brevemente o te puedo hacer una entrevista corta en inglés. Tú decides. Uh, a ver. La entrevista. Ok, va a ser bastante <risa> corta okay? y es bastante <risa> básica. Comenzamos. Um, how are you? Jackie, how are you? I'm fine, thank I'm fine, and you? I'm perfect, thank you. Okay, what's your name? My name is Jacqueline Hernandez. Okay, how old are you? Twenty, twenty-three. Twenty-three years. Three. Okay. What's your last name? My last name is Jacqueline. Um, my last name is Cuellar. What's ah, your last name? Hernan uh, Rodriguez. My okay. last name is Rodriguez. Okay, good. How do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? Uh, spell the letter. How do you spell your last name? Um, R O D R. Uh, a G E U I Z. 
Okay. Um, what time is it, Jacqueline? You know what time is it? Uh, no. <laughs> ¿Qué hora es? Uh, ten, um, four o'clock. Okay, what's your occupation? Employed. What's your occupation? ¿Cuál es su trabajo? Uh, eh, as production assistant. Production assistant. Ok. Um, describe one member of your family. Describe un miembro de tu familia. Ok. My mother is... Um, Okay, you can use a uh, physical appearance, apariencia física, adjetivo de apariencia física, de personalidad. Yep. Maybe she is tall, short, intelligent. If she is happy, if she is serious, friendly. Um, my mother is hungry, not happy. <laughs> angry. And She's intelligent. Angry. A... Mm -hmm. Okay. A is black. Ah, uh, eyes. Okay, dark eyes. Okay, now tell me, um, um, What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? And repeat porque me fue la seña. Okay, what's your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie is... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Camino. Es la película ah. de Caminos, ah, Caminos del Terror. Oh. Ah, ok. Caminos del Terror se llama... No recuerdo, Destiny. Sí. Ok, good. And what do you do in your free time? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo? Um, uh, va a estar con mi bebé. Ok, care your baby. Ok, estuvo bien. Um, ya aquí solo necesitas trabajar en algunas cosas básicas como el, por ejemplo, las vocales, ¿verdad? Porque okay. cuando deletraste tu nombre, la I y la E la confundiste, ¿ok? Lo otro es que necesitas escuchar un poquito más inglés, digamos, ya sea en canciones, en series, ¿verdad? Porque sí captas algunas cosas, pero hay otras cosas que creo que te confunden. O no sé si era la señal de internet, para que también sea la señal. No, las dos cosas. ¿Verdad, Jackie? Así que, pues, sí. eh, solamente eso sería, ¿verdad, Jackie? Así que, okay. pues, eh, hay que practicar, ¿verdad? Porque tu, tu participación ha, ha estado bien, pero siempre recuerda practicar antes para que, pues, eh, sea aún mejor, ¿verdad? Eh, digamos, más óptima las participaciones y las opiniones y vas a generar más confianza en ti mismo. Oíste, Jackie. Okay. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Nos vemos mañana. Te me cuidas bastante. Ok. Ok. Bye. Bye.